everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a touch different. I've tried mosaic art on my channel in the past, though that time I did it with paper. Um, and I just cut up a bunch of pieces of paper, painted them custom colors, and then tried to put it together. And to this day I consider it one of my least favorite things I have probably ever done on this channel. So this is kind of a risk for me to be trying to do this once more, but I think I'm going to come in with a little bit more direction this time, and I'm going to be doing it with a super fun material. So um, long story short, I have a ton of buttons and I have no idea what to do with them. I just kind of keep these in my sewing kit. You never know when you're going to need a, any kind of button, I guess, so I have them kind of separated out by color, browns, blacks, grays, reds and pinks. Uh, yellows and greens and then blues and purples and over here I just have some closures and I think I've got like a pearl button a single pearl button right here And you know just some other like odds and ends like buttons that uh, you know I got off of Clothes, you know when they send you like spare buttons and I don't really know where else to keep them except my button bucket I actually run out of mini canvases. Um, I don't think I have enough buttons to do something really huge and elaborate, so I'm going to be trying something a little bit more on the miniature side, which can also pose another challenge because a lot of these buttons are quite large and that can take up a huge chunk of the space depending on what I'm making. But I did cut some chipboard just into a, I think this is like a five and a half by six inch rectangle. I don't know why, I think I arbitrarily kind of picked that just because I thought it would fit best with the design I had in mind. And I've actually had this idea for a while. I was going to get some specifically like like a big set of matching colored buttons off of eBay for this, but I decided to use what I have because I have enough, trust me. And I decided that I really wanted to make a teapot. So the first thing I'm going to try to do to structure my design a little bit more is to actually uh, draft out the basics of what I want my design to look like. I'm gonna move this to the side and do one of my favorite uh, fancy little transitions and I'm going to snap and have my design appear. So three, two, one, go. And there we have it. Now that I've got my design out, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to kind of decide on my colors. I think it'd be fun to do something a, a little bit more colorful than not, I guess. I don't really have any like orange buttons or anything, so I don't know if I can do a full gradient, but I might be able to do like a maybe a yellow to blue since I have so many of these neon colors. I actually think uh, some friends and I used to do something we called Craft City, and basically what we would do was um, we would get together at least once a week and um, create something, anything, and one time we did shirts and we all got like specific embellishments and my one friend Craig had done a neon shirt and he got these neon buttons to kind of add a little bit of embellishment to his design and I thought it was super cute but he didn't have anything to do with them after that and he only used a handful of them so I ended up with a ton of like neon buttons. I think I've got pinks in here too, yeah. Um, so obviously I have a, fun, a bunch of these kinds of fun colors and my one orange button here apparently. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go like a like a yellow to neon blue kind of vibe, and I guess I'm just gonna have to go in and get started. I think to kind of keep things even and simple, I might do like the top as like a black one, and then create the handle and maybe like use some gray for like some steam coming out of the teapot. I don't know, these are just some ideas that I'm having, so I guess it's time to just start hyperlapsing and start putting my button designs together. Alright, I think I've got to a pretty good spot. I think it looks like a teapot, which is what I'd hoped for, even though there's still some spaces. I actually ran out of the navy blue, and you obviously probably noticed that I didn't end up going with the uh, neons here. Reason being, I find that these kinds of designs look way better when there is a variety of shapes and sizes of the buttons, and all of my yellow buttons are exactly the same, so it made it hard to fill in spots and make changes and, you know, move things around when there was only so many different ways they could fit in together. 
and especially on such a small piece, I really needed to have a good chunk of variety. So I ended up deciding against my original neon plan. I am sure I'll find some other occasion to use my neon buttons, but this is just not that instance. I also do think I am going to be putting in some of the grays, um, but I want to wait until I get my basic shape down first, uh, mostly because I I'm really afraid that I'm gonna like blow this in the wrong direction. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to take my hot glue gun, very basic, and I'm gonna go button by button, and I'm going to glue it down so that it cannot go anywhere. Alright, that took me about 20 minutes to glue all of the navy and I snuck a couple of black in there um, buttons on. Um, I liked that I used a white glue instead of a like clear glue because I think it's still kind of, I mean, there's some bits that kind of came up through the buttonholes, but since it's white it kind of looks like it's the background from, you know, up above. And I can always wait until everything's fully dry to get some of the more prominent bits out of the middles. Like this one ended up pretty bad. But um, I can't quite decide which was easier, uh, putting the glue down first and then putting the button on top of it or gluing the button and then placing it down. I think it kind of depends on how big it is and how many other buttons are close to it because if I go down sometimes the uh, glue tip would get a button stuck to it and then pick it up and that stressed me out a whole lot. And also some of the strands and strings ended up getting stuck to other buttons and then having them kind of come off. Either way, um, I think everything turned out good. Everything is stuck nice and well and this holds awesome. Um, like I actually tried to move some of them around. I think, I don't remember which one. I want to say it was this one that I really wanted to be in a little bit more so that this could come down more. Um, but. Overall, I think it, it serves the purpose. It looks like a teapot. I am okay with this. Um, and yeah, I guess right now, I'm just going to start grabbing some grays here. I have a lot of really big gray buttons, so I'm gonna have to pick out the grays that I want, and I'm gonna create like kind of a steam kind of bubble situation almost. They're gonna look more like bubbles than steam, I bet. All right, another probably 15 minutes later, and I've added in my steam and I've put it on a little bit of a table just to kind of even out the fact that um, it looks like it's a little off center and this piece is a little bit higher than the other and that's bothering me. So I kind of put like a, like a table there and now I've got all this space up here that I want to fill. So I think I'm just gonna write tea time up there. I do have a little bit of a tea obsession. I'm pretty sure I did a video for like a vlogmas a year or so ago, more than a year probably at this point, it wasn't last Christmas, it was the Christmas before, um, that I did a little tour of all of my teas because I do have a problem. It actually looks pretty good. Um, <laughs> so if you're interested in learning about my unfortunate tea issues, uh, you can check the link up there. Um, I'm gonna take some black, I'm gonna go over this and then we'll be done. Part of me still really wishes that I was able to do this in pink so that it would kind of match the rest of the decor in my uh, office, but I think I do have a section of wall that has a lot of darker pieces of art where my letter board is that I think this might look really nice up there in. I might get like a tiny frame or like a, a shadow box or something since it's more three dimensional and hang that up there, but I do think this turned out pretty good and it was kind of fun. It was a little bit challenging, but I'm actually, I think it looks really, really cool and I'd be really interested in trying maybe something a little bit bigger if I were to get some more buttons, like, you know, like I said, get like a big monochromatic themed bucket of buttons so that I could create something larger and hopefully something a little bit more intense, <laughs> you know? So uh, if you like this, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Hopefully I will see you in next week's video. Bye!